and welcome to the Code Circus. Um, today what we're going to do is look at connecting our Oculus or our Vive or our Rift device to our computer so we can connect it to Vizard 7. Now, in order to make this happen, you have to have some kind of physical hardware connection for the Rift or for the Oculus. There is for the Oculus 2 a new Wi-Fi connection you could try. I don't have an Oculus 2, I haven't tried it yet. So I'm gonna do it with the Oculus, but the instructions are pretty close for all the different devices. The first thing you're gonna to have to do is start the software that came with your device. So for me, it's the Oculus software, the Oculus app. Once I start it, I'm gonna go and plug in my Oculus headset. Now the one thing I found is that you have to make sure your device is at least 50% charged. Otherwise, your computer's not gonna find it correctly. Um, for some reason, there's a power limitation on it that it has to be at least 50% charged before you try to connect this. It doesn't take long to charge a couple, couple hours if you haven't charged it, so I would make sure you have this all charged up uh, before you go ahead and use this. And the other thing you have to do is you do have to kind of make sure it's started, so you kind of have to put it on your head at first, make sure it's connected. Um, you might have to con confirm your guardian. It's gonna probably ask you to verify that you're allowing this PC to connect to your computer to send the data, so you wanna make sure that you do that um, and your computer is connected to your Oculus. One way to verify that is just go to devices and you'll see, right now it says not connected, but when I get it to turn on and confirm my guardian, it should connect. Well, and now it's not connecting. Maybe my battery died again a little bit too low. I think mine was just barely 50%, so it may have died in the process of me starting the video. But once it is connected, you're gonna make a couple changes to your code in Vizard in order to get it to work in Vizard. So if you recall, last time we were working, um, we had just a uh, sandbox created. I have something called the Circus Sandbox. And when I click, it just opens up that sandbox for me. And you can see I have my Vizard Circus kind of set up here. But when we do this and connect it to our device, what we're gonna be able to see on the screen is the view from the headset as uh, opposed to seeing this 3D view here. So in viz.go, we start that little development environment that opens up the um, connection to our virtual environment. So we're gonna change this from viz.go to something else. So I'm gonna comment it out using the pound sign. And in order to connect, I need to go to tools. And then this option here, it says viz connect, which is, uh, I guess the one, two, three, fourth box from the bottom, viz connect. It's gonna say we're gonna create a new configuration file, which is great, we wanna do that. Then we're gonna find a place to save it. I'm gonna to go to my Circa Sandbox, and the file that I wanna call it, I mean, I could call it anything I want, but we're gonna call it viz can underscore connect um, underscore config file dot py, and I have it listed in the notes, so you can just copy it right from the notes, so it's v-i-z-c-o-n-n-e-c-t, underscore c-o-n-f-i-g dot p-y. That's what I'm naming the file. So I'm gonna hit save. And I already have one there, so it's okay. We're gonna hit save. And what happens is it opens up this wizard that allows us to connect to our device. And all of the configurations are already set if we're not doing anything special. So we're just gonna choose a common preset. And the one we want is the Oculus that's what I have. If you have something else, like the HTC, you can go ahead and choose that. And I'm just gonna hit apply presets. And yes, I wanna save it. And now it has opened up my Oculus software. 
and let's see if my device actually is connected. It is still not connected. I'm not sure why it's not connecting. Sometimes they're tricky to get connected. It might require a restart on my part, but we can try that another time. It's not going to change much what we do in the software. So we can now close that. We can close this. These error messages I have down here, it's because my Oculus is not connecting. And I'm going to type a new command right underneath the old viz go. And this time it's going to be viz connect dot go. And I'm going to put the name of the configuration file I saved. And now that's it. Once it, and I'm going to save this here, save the whole thing. Once it is connected and I hit save, my Oculus will connect automatically and I will see the circus in the Oculus Quest or Oculus Rift. Let's see if it's connected one last time. I'm going to try it. It might get an error here. Let's see what happens. It looks like I'm probably going to get an error. Yeah. So it's not finding my Oculus Quest, but hopefully yours works better than mine did. And we'll try in another video where we actually show it connected. I just wanted to show you the commands to give it a try. Try go ahead and setting up the configuration anyway, just in case you do get your hands on an Oculus Quest um, or some other device. And just for the experience, we'll, we get a chance to do this at school. Also notice over here now, there's a new file listed under VizConnect called VizConnect underscore config.py. So we know it has worked. If we want to change any of the settings, all we have to do is click on that file and it'll bring us right back into the wizard. And we can go ahead and change whatever we needed to change. So that's all for today. Uh, just a little video about how to connect your actual device to your computer. You see I didn't have much success with it. Hopefully you have more success with it than I did. But those are all the correct steps if you can get your quest to actually connect. Um, that's all for now. I will see you next time. Thank you.